New Zealand is only hours away from launching a spacecraft destined for the moon, in a mission which could transform our approach to space. Rocket Lab is preparing to launch NASA's capstone microsatellite from Mahia tomorrow in the hope it'll end up orbiting around the moon. All things going well, it could allow the space agency to park bigger spacecraft in the same orbit, including a space station which could help astronauts make it back to the lunar surface. For more on this, let's speak with Morgan Bailey from Rocket Lab. Hi, Morgan. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Tell us what exactly is happening here and why is it so important? What's happening is Aotearoa is going to the moon for the first time, and we're doing it in partnership with NASA and a bunch of other really clever people who are going to help us send a small spacecraft all the way to lunar orbit so we can test a very special type of orbit that NASA actually wants to use in the future for a space station called Gateway, which astronauts will travel to and then descend down onto the lunar surface to carry out science uh, on the surface of the moon. So it's not really an exaggeration to say that Rocket Lab and New Zealand are at the forefront of humanity's return to the moon. That is quite a big deal. Uh, if it all goes well, so what we're expecting is it will help a space station orbit the moon. What kind of time frame are we looking at with that? Well, this mission's a pathfinder. So it's a small satellite. It's only about 25 kilograms, and it's going there to test the kind of orbit um, that they in future want to send this uh, space station to. Now, what we can expect from the launch um, as soon as this week is the launch itself is relatively quick. It only takes about 10 minutes actually to get it to space. From there, we've got another six days of doing fancy maneuvers on orbit to get the satellite further and further away from Earth. And then from there, it kind of separates off onto what's called a ballistic uh, lunar transfer. And that takes it about three to four months to get all the way into lunar orbit. And it'll stay there for six months to do some science. So how will you know if it's actually all gone well? Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of data. OK. And what other pathways does it open up? Really, this is kind of the first step to doing some really big science um, and really exciting things with space exploration with smaller satellites. So traditionally, you used to have large rockets and huge satellites and even people that cost, you know, tens of, of billions of dollars sometimes and took decades uh, to get science out there into, into deep space. And what we're looking to do is prove that with a small rocket and a relatively small team, or pretty cost effectively, you can actually do really big things uh, in interplanetary space. Okay, can you just quickly talk us through what it actually looks like at Mission Control on an occasion like this in little old New Zealand when you fire this thing off? What's the atmosphere like? In mission control itself, the atmosphere is very serious. You know, we've got lots of operators managing all different systems on the rocket and on the spacecraft to make sure everything goes perfectly to plan. Uh, there are certainly no dogs allowed in mission control, uh, so they're allowed here. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Do you want me to start that one again? No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> But I mean, I think, I think dogs um, make anything better, don't they? Even, even well, they rocket did send launches. them to space at the beginning of the space program, but thankfully we're, we're past the point of testing dogs in space these days. They stay firmly on the ground. But um, as, as for mission control, um, it's a really tense atmosphere and, and all the operators are focused on, on every single tiny aspect of the rocket that they're looking after. Um, interestingly enough, there's a glass wall that separates mission control and kind of the team area where a few hundred of our team members will be standing. That area is... Um, uh, let's say it's a little more energetic. Um, there'll be lots of clapping and cheering. OK, well, let's hope there is lots to clap and cheer about. Uh, good luck for all of that, Morgan. Thanks very much for your time tonight. Thanks so much.